Asalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Karibuni tena watazamaji wangu. So leo tutafanya kesi 2024 part 2. So la appreciation question 21. So appreciation and depreciation. Now before I start the video, subscribe to the channel and click on the subscription below. Also click on the notification bell so that you can follow other videos for other videos. So hii ni namba yangu 0797550885. So ali nasema nini? Uh, question 21A Fadili subscribe Fadili <laughs> deposited 400,000 in an account that paid compound interest on deposit at a rate of 7% per annum at the end of 3 years he withdrew all the money from the account calculate the amount that Fadili withdrew so hapa utapata hapa hii ni uh, principal yako na hii ndio rate yako 7% per annum na n yako tayari ushajua ni 3 years na hii ni swali la appreciation sasa kupata amount ambayo yani ata withdraw baada ya miaka mitatu is given by this formula p into to bracket 1 plus r over 100 into bracket power n sawa paka so principal yako ni 400000 okay multiply by 1 plus r over 100 which is 7 percent or 7 over 100 power 3 simple as that so ukichukua hii ukiweka kwa ukifinya kwa ni calculator yako swali so, lako ah jibu lako itakupa 490,017.2 shillings so Kenya shillings let, let me just wrap this na inapenia kina fa se Kenya shillings kaapa Okay, twende kwa swali la pili. Swali la pili lasema nini? Swali la pili umeulizwa Fadili invested a uh, withdrawn amount in shares which is this 490,017.20. The values of the shares depreciated at a rate of 1.5% every 6 months. Okay? Determine the value of the shares at the end of 2 years. Correct to two decimal places. Sasa Fadili baada ya we do aka invest tena kwa shares lakini this time ile value of the shares it depreciate therefore formula yako ya badilika ya kuwa amount equal to principal 1 minus r over 100 kwa vile ime depreciate hii badili ya positive itakuwa negative so umeuliza determine the value of the shares at the end of 2 years to two decimal places So principal yako ni hii ambayo ame pesa ambayo ame drawn 490,017.20 multiply by 1 minus rate yako ni 1.5% lakini sasa hapa n c to yes n ni nini every umeambiwa every 6 months ikukiambia every 6 months yamaanisha hii ni compounded uh, semi annually compound so yamaanisha kwa mwaka kuna uh, two periods so in those two re- in, in one year kuna two periods so in two years uh, itakuwa na how many periods four periods so hapa so hapa n itakuwa ni raised to power so ukiweka kwa ni calculator hapo hivi hivi Just take 490,000 uh, 17.20 multiply by 1 minus uh, 1.5 over 100 raised to power 4. Najibu lako nitakupa 461,000 which is also Kenya shillings 461,271.10 kwa vile ni 2 2 decimal places and this is your answer. So Roman 2 tushaji. Uh, Roman 3 Umeambiwa determine the gain or loss from Fadili's investment in the 5 years. Sasa kumbuka hii ni gain ama ni loss. Yaani ima imepanda ama mpata faida ama mpata hasa. Sasa for you to get to know if it is a gain or loss is either that your answer is positive or your answer is negative. Ya uh, your gain or loss is given by uh, this formula Okay, gain or loss is given by this formula which is amount uh, after 5 years yani ile pesa ambayo alipata baada ya miaka mitano minus his initial investment ambayo ni ile mwanzo mwanzo swali 
na then tutajua hiyo initial investment yake so amount after 5 years ilikuwa ni 400 and si 1000 alitru aka invest so aka palipo invest ikashuka paka ikafika 461 261.10 minus initial investment pesa ya kwanza aliweka ni 400000 na answer yako hapa tayari pia tushajua ki subtract the two answer itakuwa positive right so itakuwa positive ya yeah, 61000 okay make sure uandike Kenya shillings So answer yako hapo itakuwa uh, Kenya shillings Kenya shillings 61271.10 Okay so acha niandike hapo pia ukitaka okay, kama uone taandika na blue pen okay. so 61271.10 a uh, Kenya shillings. Hii ni nini? Hii ni gain. Ah uh, yani impata faida. Ndio kama bwana akakwambia ingekuwa ni negative ingekuwa loss lakini kwa vile ingekuwa ni positive is a gain. So tuendelee na swali nyingine. Ah uh, so question B which is our last question. So remember all six marks we shall pass. Nyambuto invested 400,000 in a financial institution that paid a uh, compound interest at the rate of 6% per annum after n years the amount had accumulated to 500000 calculate the value of n correct the nearest whole number so he pia ni vile vile compound interest ni kama appreciation pia so it appreciated so use the same formula amount equal to principal multiply by 1 or r over 100 power n so let, let me just use this blue pen amount yako ni hiyo 500,000 principal yako ni 400,000 rate yako ni 6% lakini n ujue so nikiandika hiyo principal which is uh, 400,000 it's not that 500,000 multiply by 1 plus rate yako ni 6% raised to power n n how ujue equal to uh, 500,000 Okay, watch it watch a space for another thing. So, divide by 400,000 divide by 400,000. Do you 400,000 it okay. So, hapo tabaki watu na 1 plus 6 over 100 raised to power n. So, 1 plus 6 over 100 raised to power n obviously it's a jua hapo equal to 500,000 divide by 400,000. So, 500,000 divide by 400,000 give me 5 over 4 which is 1.25 so answer up on 1.25 okay so half a 1 plus 6 over 100 power n is just 1.06 power n equal to 1.25 introduce log okay introduce log so it akwa log 1.06 kumbuka hii power n itaenda nyuma so itakuwa equal to log 1.25 ah uh, sasa hii tutafuta n so how do you find n n equal to divide by log 1.06 divide by log 1.06 on both side so itakuwa n equal to log 1.25 divide by log 1.06 na regelia tena en ilikuwa ni pa therefore to defer to introduce log so that n and nyuma sa so itakuwa log 1.06 equal to log 1.25 divide by log log 1.06 divide by log 1.06 ndo hapa itoke na hapo ubakie na hiyo n so log 1.25 log 1.25 divide by log 1.06 answer yako hapa kwa 3.83 sa so, umeambiwa correct to the nearest whole number kwa vile ikupa hapa 3.8 something 83 but umeambiwa correct to the nearest whole number uta round off so n yako itafaa ya fa ikupe n equal to 4 years so i think till there tumeelewa so just write it somewhere n equal to 4 years Okay, so, wa hada salam alaykum and subscribe